Hello, I'm Chris Iverson, and I'm working on uh, making 3D printing great with Windows. You've probably heard about 3D printing. You know, it's a technology that allows me to be creative and make things that I could print at home and share with my friends. Microsoft is very excited to announce 3D printing as a native component of Windows 8.1, and we feel it opens up brand new scenarios for application developers and device vendors. In this session, I'm going to demonstrate a modern application printing to a uh, 3D printer, and I'm also going to demonstrate a desktop application printing to a 3D printer using Connect for Windows as an input device. Then I'll show you how you can incorporate the power of, of this scenario in your applications and prepare your devices uh, for Windows 8.1. In this session, I will show you a little bit about what 3D printing is. I'll do some demos of 3D printing with Windows, and I'll talk about how to add Windows 3D printing into your app and how to prepare your device. And I'll also talk a little bit about where to get more information. 3D printing is a technology that takes a digital 3D model, slices it into tiny layers, and sends instructions to a special hardware device. That device deposits materials one layer at a time until the model is complete. It can do some surprising things, like print fully assembled components, replacement parts for everyday appliances, create new kinds of materials that were expensive to make using traditional manufacturing, and it allows customizing or personalizing everyday items. 3D printing has been around for some time in industrial and commercial settings, but is now within the reach of the enthusiastic consumer, and most importantly, it is just super fun. Let me show you a few of the 3D objects we printed in our lab. Uh, here's an example of an Xbox avatar that was printed uh, with working with uh, the IB team. It's a buddy of mine, Jeff Holton. We just took his Xbox avatar, downloaded it from Xbox, and printed it on a 3D printer. It's very personalized, very customizable. Uh, you can change the pose, and then you can put it on a birthday cake or something. Uh, this is an example uh, from a Dimension Stratasys printer. It shows a, a, a part that's printed and is fully functional right off the print bed. Uh, this is just a toy wrench. You can see that it's got some me mechanism that actually is functional. Uh, here we have uh, an object that we, we made. This actually was several prints in different colors. Uh, the idea here is that once you take it off the print bed, it actually has a fourth dimension to it. it kind of, it's got parts that move, and the parts actually snap out so you can put in a different color, like the Windows logo, or maybe you have text on them, so it's your initials, and you have your own sort of customized keychain. Uh, this is an app that uh, uh, my friend Yulin built that actually allows you to build sort of Minecraft style block by block to produce uh, a Lego-like um, object. And in this case, it's a little castle. And then here's my boss, Handsome Shannon. Uh, he was printed uh, at MakerBot's retail store in New York. This was a scan they did, and it was printed on a MakerBot replicator. Now I'm going to demonstrate a Windows Store application printing to the Windows 8.1 3D print pipeline. Here you see uh, a Windows uh, Store application with a vase model loaded. Um, now I'm going to personalize this vase so it's you know, something special to me. And then I'm going to print it into the uh, Windows 8.1 print pipeline. So let me just start by uh, adding my, my name to this. I'm going to emboss uh, text and type in my name. You see my name there in the vase. Um, we have a couple options so I can see what it looks like kind of more realistically with some shadows. Uh, I'm going to leave a wireframe just so I can see what I'm doing for now. I'm going to go over here to the Windows 8 uh, user interface, 8.1 user interface. I'm going to click Devices, Print, just like if you were printing a two-dimensional document. And here you see a 3D Systems Cube 2 printer configured, and that's the device I have over here. I'm going to pick that device, and you'll see uh, print settings come up that are specific to the printer. So you see quality, uh, density, whether I should add support material uh, or a raft. I'm just going to uh, use the default settings for this print. And now I'm going to click the print button. At this point, the model is prepared by the application and sent to the uh, print pipeline. And the pipeline will then send that to the printer. So you can see how a Windows Store application uh, integrating uh, with the 3D 
print pipeline opens up all kinds of opportun opportunities for developers. Now I'm really excited to show you the next demo. What I'm going to do is uh, use the Connect for Windows sensor. And I'm gonna, you can see here I have an application, a very simple application that just pulls uh, raw uh, Connect sensor data uh, into it and it repairs it and builds a printable three-dimensional model of whatever it's looking at. It's kind of like a three-dimensional photograph uh, of myself uh, in this case. So uh, there you can see me in there. I'm, I'm waving. Uh, it's picking up all the signals from the Connect. Um, and in, at the same time, it's building a watertight model that I can actually save and print. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to, I'm going to pick something that looks good. Uh, I'm going to snap a, a photo of that and save it to disk uh, and then um, put it into a modeling application. Now you can imagine that the Kinect produces really very large meshes. And so I have uh, imported my scan here into an Autodesk product. Uh, Microsoft and Autodesk are working uh, together uh, on this uh, scenario. Uh, so Autodesk uh, has taken this mesh and it's placed it on a platform. Uh, it's been pre-configured for the Replicator 2 printer. And uh, here, uh, now that I've plated it and taken a quick look at it, um, I can just send it to my printer by pressing the print button. Now Autodesk is in the process of preparing the model. Uh, it performs um, some repairing uh, and model analysis and then we'll send it to the print pipeline uh, where the MakerBot Replicator 2 software will pick it up, perform the slicing uh, and any of the instruction uh, generation necessary for this printer and then it will begin printing. The two printers I demonstrated for you, the Cube 2 and the Replicator 2, are inexpensive desktop devices that print plastic. However, you can find a device able to print in almost any material – vinyl, clay, metal, wax, rubber, even food. Desktop 3D printers allow you to prototype a model before sending the design to a professional service for a finished part. You can even print forms for casting and blend this new technique with traditional fabrication. So there you go. I took a scan of myself with a Windows Connect device and I put it in an Autodesk app. I saved it to the print pipeline uh, in Windows 8.1 and I printed it on a MakerBot Replicator 2 printer. It's all integrated in the Windows 8.1 3D print pipeline. And now let me show you how to put the power of this scenario in your applications and enable your devices. Let me tell you a little bit about integrating 3D printing with your app. This diagram shows the app's view of 3D printing. On the left you see a user uh, interacting with an application. Uh, the application is responsible for generating a print UI. This UI provides the options and preferences uh, to the uh, customer, um, describing how they want to print this model. And then the app creates model data and a print ticket. The print ticket is the uh, app's settings based on the print UI which is then fed into the print API. The data and the print ticket we call the 3D manufacturing format. It's sent through the print API into the spooler. The spooler then notifies the driver of the device that the user selected. And the driver is responsible for doing things like repairing uh, the model, slicing it, and rendering it into a device language before sending it to the printer, uh, which will be responsible for printing that model. The spooler will also notify the app or the customer when the print is finished. So let's take a look at a Windows Store sample app uh, just so you get an idea of how the whole end-to-end -end works. So here I am in a uh, sample Windows Store app looking at a model uh, or a statue. I swipe to the right and I bring up the, the uh, charm. I click Devices. I click print, and now I see 3D printers that are attached to my computer. In this case, it's the Fabricam 3D printer. I select that one, and now I see a print uh, UI. This describes the settings, again, that the user can choose, things like quality or density of the, of the model, whether I want support material. I can also choose more settings if this is a uh, what's called, what we call a V4 print driver. Uh, which supports a native USB print interface. Uh, and this is user interface provided by the device driver uh, by the manufacturer uh, that provides advanced settings. Now I'll click print. 
And when the model is finished, I'll get a notification from the spooler uh, indicating the status. The same thing holds true for a desktop app, but the UI is a little bit different. Let me show you how this works. I click print. The app provides a print UI. I could choose more settings for additional advanced user interface, and this UI is provided by the device driver. Uh, these are advanced settings. Now I'll click print. And when the model is finished, I'll get a notification from the spooler. And now let me tell you a little bit about how to implement this code in your application. First, you need a package target. From a Windows Store app, you need to implement iPrint document page source. And from there, uh, the iPrint document package target will be passed into you uh, in make document. From desktop, call create document package target for print job, and you'll get a iPrint document package target. In either of these cases, once you have that target interface, you can access the new 3D printing functionality. So you can, from here, get the IXPS object model package writer using our new, um, our new GUID. It's called um, ID Document Package Target Open XPS with 3D. Now you can use this package target 3D to get the writer object, and uh, then you can add your mesh into the 3MF model stream. Optionally, you can add texture data. And you can set the model print ticket to store app specific settings for this print job. And don't forget to call close to finish writing the job to the print system. Now, a full implementation of this is available in the Windows SDK, and the sample is named the sample 3D print. Let me talk a little bit about adding support to your device. Here is a view, a more device specific view of uh, the 3D print system. It's very similar to the app view, but there's a little bit more focus on the device driver and how it integrates with the USB subsystem. So again, the user clicks uh, print, they get a print preview UI, they send, it sends the app data and print ticket to, through the, AP, the print API to the spooler, and the spooler then sends it to the appropriate print driver um, associated with that printer. Uh, to the print driver package. The print driver is responsible for, again, fixing the model, slicing it, and rendering it into a, a device language before sending it to the appropriate port. Uh, this is based on uh, whether it's a V3 or V4 print driver, uh, but the port, once it goes to the port, it will be written out to a USB interface and then to the printer. The driver is responsible for rendering uh, the 3MF uh, data passed through the print spooler into the device language. Now we support a new category called printfax.printer.3D and it provides support for native USB printer interfaces. This is a class 7 type 3 USB device through a Windows v4 print driver. This offers higher performance and more features. Uh, it allows you to auto install uh, at custom applications uh, from the Windows Store uh, using the Windows Store device app, and it provides full bi-directional status and data flow control. We also provide support for legacy printers uh, that may use serial, serial over USB. This is using Windows v3 printer driver architecture, uh, and it allows a custom port monitor, which uh, uh, gives you full control of device communication. We'll also provide Windows hardware certification, uh, which allows auto-installing and conf configuring of your driver through Windows Update. And that allows you to provide a uh, Windows logo with your device when you market it. This is all included in a separate 3D printing SDK that's available under license, and it includes sample code that's not in the WDK. If you'd like to access this SDK, please uh, send us email at ask3dprint at microsoft.com. You can also use Visual Studio 2013 to just quickly create a V4 print driver from the template. Uh, this is in the WDK, uh, and uh, you'll see you can create a new 3D printer driver package with that new category type. It's the device manufacturer's responsibility to create the 3D print driver package according to the WDK. Describe their device by implementing the 3D device's capabilities in the GPD and implement one or more print pipeline render filters to do things like read the 3MF 
spool file format, analyze and repair model, slice into Z layers, uh, and eventually calculate the language that's sent to the printer. Uh, the device manufacturer should publish metadata with the package as described in the WDK and optionally publish a Windows Store Devices app associated with their device. And once everything is working, when you plug in your 3D uh, printer device, you'll see it show up in Devices stage along with other devices like 2D printers. And we have a new icon for 3D printing. Here's how you can get more information. The Windows SDK includes a sample called Sample 3D Print. You can also visit our website at http www.microsoft.com slash 3D, or you can send support, uh, you can send email to our support alias ask3dprint at microsoft.com. And the 3D print team is also here at Build on the showroom floor. We look forward to meeting you. Come see us. We hope you're as excited as we are about 3D printing in Windows 8.1, and we can't wait to see what you do with it.